There we go. Here's another good one. Slip that back pretty good. Basically, when you're fishing top water baits, all you got to do is just cast underneath little pads of weeds and stuff like that. Basically, they're always hiding underneath the, the rock shoals and everything else that's always up along the surface. And usually, they usually surprise themselves by ambushing from underneath rocks and everything. So what you want to do is, when fishing a top water bait, slowly move the bait over top of the cover. Don't move it too fast. Give them a chance to hit it, feel the weight of it, and you will always catch them in the end. This guy... This guy has eaten my bait pretty hard. <laughs> yeah. It's taken me a while for this one. Pecker can bite really, really hard. It's a really good one. Yep, that's two. Another nice one. Off the top water popper. Mm -hmm. Bring him back. Yep. Always keep it moving no matter what. Those type of poppers, any top water bait, regardless of their presentation, always keep going to go. Using different topwater baits can vary too. <laughs> I, I see see that when I dropped it when I put it when I put it on the standstill. I he smashed it. He nicked it once, and then the second time he came aboard it. Yes, that was nuts. That was a nice one right there. That's what mostly you'll hear from these poppers. Nothing but explosive top water action. Yep. <laughs> Thank <laughs> you.
And so here is an <laughs> so I can love the puppers. They fucking bloop. I am very surprised too. Like holy shit. Took it right off the water too. Face top water action for Pecro at its best. I seen him when he slurped that back. Always fishing it slow. They'll bump it usually the first time. Always feel the weight of them first before fishing and setting the hook. You always feel the weight of them first because you'll see the water break. As soon as that water breaks. You feel the weight of them, you set the hook, and you're ready to bring yourself in a nice fish. Like that. Right there, folks. Beautiful weather out. <laughs> Beautiful weather out here in the overcast. <laughs> Water temperature. Are you serious? Whoa! Are you serious? <laughs> I can't believe that. I can't believe we were just doing that. Like, do you honestly think that's how it would go in our TV show? <laughs> no way. I need to hurry. No. <laughs> Fishing a stick bait, a stick bait or a twitch bait, whatever you like to call it. Basically using walking the dog action. Constant motion. Twitch baits are basically the fastest of all topwater baits. Twitch baits are anywhere's fastest topwater moving action out there. It's always twitch, twitch, twitch. Keep the bait moving. Sometimes they'll smash it on the dead flow. Sometimes they'll take it during the action. Woo! Yeah! Look at that one. He came aboard this one first cast. Five three. Using a twitch bait, they move the fastest of all topwater baits because they are in constant motion, walking the dog action. Oh, and it appears we got one. Oh no, he got off. He got off. Uh, Basically, twitch bait here. Uh, walking the dog action, as you can see on the water. Basically, triggers faster strikes when other baits won't work. This is your last resort type bait for all top water tech categories. Yep, and that's how it works. Another thing you must learn about top water fishing is basically its presentation can play an important role in this too. The better you presentate your lure as an injured topwater bait fish, the more chances you might have a chance of getting a fish. Although sometimes the wrong presentation for wrong lures sometimes cannot work at all. Okay, here we go. Along the weeds again. So far, no bass. 
God only knows where the bass are today, but nothing but pickerel, which is fine by me because there's nothing better than watching any type of fish take anything off a of top water, like just explosive, it's visual. A lot easier for the beginners to use too, so that way you don't always have to worry about getting stuck on bottom. Ooh. Ah, uh, look. Ooh. Ooh. Got him! Ooh, look at you. Exactly what we want to see. Oh, and he's a bass, too. Look at you. Nice smallmouth. Nice one. This is what we came here for, folks. Ooh, come here, little guy. Come here, little guy. Come here. Don't you? Oop. Come here. Come here. Oh, no. Now, six five. Tiebreaker. There we are. Smallmouth bass. See, folks, when you're fishing smallmouth bass like this, always surface underneath trees and under structure like that. With lures like these over top water baits that can go underneath trees and stuff. Bass like this will usually go for it. And they're usually active when they're underwater, just underneath brush piles and stuff like that. Basically, fish nice and gently. Don't move the bait too far from the action presentation that you're getting. And definitely, you'll bring in bass like this. Nice to see you, buddy. And we have another one. We have another one. And he jumped at it. As you can see, by fishing underneath trees and stuff, you'll get more fish that attack your bait. Making them more vulnerable to attack. All bodies of water basically share one thing in common, and that is the surface. When bait fish are usually on top of the water, just grazing around in vegetation, and the predators are down in below, camouflaged, little fish don't see the big fish coming before it's too late. There was a good one. He jumped right out the water for that. See, what you see when I did there is basically when he hit it, stop it, slow it down to a slower presentation. Still getting the fish's attention. Sometimes he'll go for it, sometimes, other times he won't. Best bet is to always still keep trying. Each time a fish hits it but rolls it, Always fish it a lot slower than what you've been doing for your normal presentation. Sometimes they will turn around and get it. Other times, it'll be the only time. Yeah, hang on.
There's a jump right beside your line. Yeah, that doesn't seem to be working too well for you there, bud. If you want, I can loan you one of mine. Mine are all excellent. Line braided and everything. Whoa! Jeez. Yeah, he came aboard that one. Came aboard. Yep. Eight five. Yeah. Oh, get in here. No. Here we go. God, I hate it when they smash at that herd. Thrilling and all, don't get me wrong, but Jesus. Come on now. Yep. No, uh, yeah, six eight. I thought you meant. There was a good jump at it. There he is again. That's two. Third time's a charm. Can we hit it one more time? Yep, and there he is again. And look at you. Oh, he's running. He's not a bass. Is he a bass? Oh, he's a bass! Oh, look at that one. That's right there. That's how it's done. <laughs> Off the spinner. Yes. In the big one. <laughs> Place your bats, people. Yeah, oh, I seen him when he ran off with it. It was really, really big. Whoa! Oh! You see that? Oh, no! He's still on. He's still on. Did you see that? He snapped it. Oh, he's fucking fighting. <laughs> Look at this one! Oh, hey, 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 hey. oh wow! Oh man! Oh man! Oh man! He wanted that! He wanted that, didn't you, big guy? Oh yes! Yes, yes, yes! Big bass! Over there! In the rocks, shoals. Nice one. What, folks, you think uh, the one thing you'll learn about when fishing smallmouth bass is when they fight and take your bait, you'll know, definitely know when they got one because they thrash and go aggressive in nature. Smallmouth bass, very fun to catch. Full of jumps, full of fights, easy to unhook, and everything else. If you want to throw a lifetime, come down here. Out off the hot, down to Salmon Lake, off the Highway 103, and get yourself some nice bass with some topwater baits. So you see, what I'm doing is casting along the shore, 
fishing it gently, twitch, twitch, twitch each time, luring it along the weeds, make it look like it fell offshore, and it has to fight its way through the weeds and the structure where the fish might be waiting to ambush an easy meal. Guarantee you there's one up in that stream. Yep, just as I thought. He just hit it. Only a little guy. If he wants it, he'll come get it. Oh! I didn't know I had him. Oh, it's a bass! Holy! Holy sh! Oh! He just slurped it! Oh my god, look at this one! A double header! <laughs> double header, look at that. Look at this one. Mm hmm. Yeah, a very nice one too. Very big bass. Very nice one. Yeah, he's awfully skinny though. Very skinny guy. Mm hmm. John and Cordell here, bass fishing, top water action. Uh, <laughs> yeah. I guess it is intense. Hey, yo, watch out, you got stuck in a tree. <laughs> and there it yeah, goes. Pro angler, you get to the oh, yes. Very pro. They get it stuck in a tree. That's what we call a fish stick. <laughs> it's the fish stick. Wood bass. <laughs> 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 yes, man, that's what it is. Yeah. Oh, yeah, look, right on the edge of the sticks. One of us is definitely going to get one. Probably, maybe if we... Oh, look at the weeds up there. I know, <laughs> There was a hit, little guy. Oh, he's right there. At least I thought he was. Oh yeah, he was right there too, look at that. Oh, and he's a nice one. Yes. Yes, sirree. Oh, yes, sirree. He's a nice one. There we go. Yes, sirree. Right there. Nice smallmouth.
brother. Oh. I was waiting here and they put a That is funny. Sploop and then nope. What? <laughs> nice tree. Oh, there you go. You got it. Oh, now you're all wrapped up in me. can get really, really huge when you see it. I guess it was very exciting. We caught a lot of bass today and ended it all with a few great catches, bass, pickerel, lots of misses, and everything else. I will be trying to post more videos on Facebook and everything else just for everyone to watch, whoever decides to watch, watch it, and all the pics and the videos and stuff that I post. As soon as I try to get a better camera for better shots of the fish catching and everything else. So I'll be coming to you more with more videos and hopefully you'll be nearby.